Look, y'all. I was going to come over here and chill. Since it's a rainy day. Even though, you know, I try to stay away from society altogether because they're a bunch of dick-sucking fools who's trying to destroy my life by their presence. And look, this shit wasn't here yesterday. I smell shit. I look around. It's somebody's shit. That wasn't there yesterday. It looks kind of wet. It's not even that the it's not even the wind didn't start making it hard yet. So it was done recently. Now I didn't smell shit when I just walked by here, but I could have easily missed it. Even though the shit smell is all out here, even under this some American flag and shit. I bet they gonna blame homeless people, not this bitch. Not specifically said I was gonna come here in my mind to come. After I go use the potty, but the, the potty room was uh, locked, so I had to you know, piss in somebody's yard, <laughs> a government yard, a uh, business office, no biggie. So there, it's the American government's fault while I'm on the streets for no reason. That's what happens. That's what happens when spiritually... I'm subject to hear some of their shit. Well, it's not even spiritual. That's why I guess these devils go around saying it's unseen because, you know, a lot of it is just created. Like the white boy gaming world. It's like it's, it, it, it's more uh, made by big pharma, pharma, possibly, inside peoples that's party to that. Oh, and uh, of course, the unknown people and the people enslaved trying to be enslaved to it, like me, with fake, you're mentally ill, and we're going to keep you on the street until you accept it. Then we'll give you Social Security. Not because you got injured 15 years ago, 2007, just around, thanks, just before Thanksgiving. And then enslaved in Maryland from 2012 to 2014. We're not going give it, to give it to you because you deserved it even before you got enslaved. We're not gonna give. We're not gonna uh, give it to you until you fulfill the white white boy's purpose of making sure all blacks are enslaved in our own fucking country, in the country of our brethren. Hey, still on that bullshit. So that's what happens. So let me go back to the story. So that's what happens when some people know what I'm talking about because, of course, you always, I'm a child of God living their life. So I, the Lord have me connected to prophets. So I don't have to send them an email for them to know what's happening inside uh, the area where I be at. No matter where I go, whether it's in Georgia or Florida, because uh, Jersey is unfit. So too much, uh, just all this slave attempts and then they try to act like their hand is longer than it is. And I, but anyway, let me go back to the story. That's what happens when, okay, as soon as you usher the same chemical particulate matter spirits of the same people who shut down Camden, putting their ass out and shitting all over the place, especially around CVS Pharmacy. So just because this is not New Jersey, but let, but yet you keep trying to fulfill New Jersey's purpose of enslaving black people, particularly me, chase me all around, have people in the streets who I don't, I, I don't know one person in this state and the town of where I go to try to tell me about my life, who I was married to, what I owe society. Oh, 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 sound like a, sound like a, the, a white boy panicking that he has no power, no grasp on black people as a slave and he never in essence did because we're always gods no matter how bastard we are and in essence we have the strength they don't but the Lord hid us from our strength but anyway so you think you can usher in the same dirty nasty devils so a large quantity skin of them skin is black. So that goes to show you have no power over them. It's not like they're little crusty, dirt, dusty, dirty hair mites. It, 
meant that you, the white devil of the earth, can control these street mice from the streets. Yeah, they're mice. Guess why? You thought they were rats. They, they were coming, come and shoot people up like me since you think I'm by myself, since you uh, don't believe a black person. Oh, yeah, you do believe a black person can have communion uh, a communion with God until the power of God is on the earth. But you're hoping the, the other dusty, crusty niggas are stupid enough not to know and that even if it takes 500 to get killed to try to kill one black female and if you can't subdue her as uh, and, and your uh, as a chattel slave you know you do that you do that so so these these they, they think they rats but they didn't realize they're only mice you know they just didn't send uh but there's no cats around and no real people with power uh, to show that who's who who could be a real rat if they wanted to, because they have no competition for the cowards they are. Because in essence, this COVID war was a sneak attack. We're not involved with you. You forced yourself around us, saying there's a six feet rule. Say that's why there's an excess of people popped up in our neighborhoods. Oh no, you're wrong, white devil. You're wrong, white devil. You are the devil of the earth and you shall lie. And that's all you do and create confusion. Because Americans are taught since kindergarten to stay six feet away from each other. You call that hand's length. And you told us over and over and over. Hand's length, that's six feet. Your hand out, their hand out. That's six feet. Don't touch. Stay that far apart. So in essence, nothing has changed in society. Except for your inter interpretation of what six feet should cause. Actually, your, your space around you to get more crammed up with people when it wasn't before. But these are the people just like a white devil does. You need to put all these weak devils around you, a whole circle around you. Just to try to subdue even to kill you. Or to keep repoisoning you with their COVID chemicals until they got the right recipe to technologically demonolog and demonolog demonologically or physically by gestures. Some of these look like they got Huntington's disease, doing all kinds of stuff around you. Just like a white devil the other day, he he went, he wore a red shirt, but you went like this to pull as if you were pretending you were pulling me to you. Even though we were far across, I was across the street, he was over at the Christian Center. And I felt myself tug a little bit. I said, oh, it's not the red shirt. They just try to create the demon as to the properties of the color red but he got a certain period in him because he knows in essence they've been trying to see what do i have poisoned contained in my body when i was a slave in maryland then got poisoned in new jersey and georgia and florida it continues to say we don't even know what's in her body that we can't even put an excess of what's in our body that will even if we pull away from her it'll make her run to us or pull uh walk toward her to see if it do a rebound, make her come and attach to us like a magnet. And yeah, that's possible to try to get somebody to attach to you like a magnet, chemically. And guess what? It can happen anyway in a spiritual matter if God wanted to bind people together. That the human hand, you know, can't touch what God can touch. So it don't matter what's in your body, whatever. These people are trying to find ways to defy God, starting with one second to one second and think they have a recipe and keep trying to strengthen it and strengthen it and strengthen it to see if they can defy God. Y'all, all our feet don't touch the ground. We, it might look like we all walk at the same, same, the same pavement, but trust me, all our feet ain't touch the ground. And these white devils know that. That's why they keep stalking and stalking and stalking. The other day, I felt I was walking Next minute, I felt my feet not touching the ground. I said, hold up, I'm walking my I looked to my right, there's an old white devil there. I said, oh, it's not like my feet ain't touching the ground, but really, really, 
it's pro it, it's most like it's most likely in relation to a nigga. Cause look, white devils don't have nothing to do with us. God could just kill them, mow them down, take them out your presence. God do it for me all the time. But there there was a a, a nigga of a certain caliber around somewhere that had separated my feet. That that God said, no, 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 no. I'm not gonna allow this. Working with the white devils try to and so my feet I said hold up I walk but my feet ain't touching the ground again that didn't happen since like Cumberland County when I was in uh Jersey you know back in like September October last year because I've been out of New Jersey since November 16th last year anyway I heard time is winding down I heard the chime yeah shitting on buildings the same method they did back in jersey your contract devils you can't you didn't, you couldn't control devils inside new jersey they they only did what they did they could think long game ground no that if you contract somebody you're the one without the power but everybody know not to get entangled with the white devil because in essence all they're gonna do is when they find out they can't control you kill you and guess what us people that you have offended been poisoning to try to get a recipe, a slave recipe in us, and whatever it is. Guess what? God's law is going to be enacted. I don't care what the white devil does, or if it looks like it has power or not. There's a reason why every time I show up for no reason, all the cops go, the first thing they do is go to a bank and protect the ATMs. The Lord going to move the money. Uh, since, let me talk about y'all God mammon. To have nothing to do with me because I chose the pathway to God to uh, seek you first the kingdom of heaven first. Here's y'all people who serve mammon. No matter what, the spirit go uh, let things go to who it goes to. Who can rob God? And that's us children who serve God, his spirit is in us. So if you can't rob God, you can't rob his children. if you think you're robbing God's child you're a liar because that's something that the person even if they see it like um, that means nothing to me because I know everything could be a curse upon itself or touching what's a child of God's that anything you touch it's going to turn red and return back to that child of God and guess what you done formed all that pathology that points to you and wherever you go, there you are. Wherever you go, there you are. It's funny how they ushered in certain spirits in this area. They stalk me everywhere they go, spiritually, chemically, uh, physically, yada, yada, yada. And the spirits you ushered in that have nothing to do with me, who are not angels but devils, whose names y'all just used in court, you know, keep trying to do this Masonic uh, elusive name association that, you know, I'm not part of your lifestyle, never will be, you're beneath me, so. Yeah. As soon as they brought one of the family member in, the one who tried to say, confess me he's an angel, but I'm not believing that. Angels follow God's word. A demon, if anything. Then all of a sudden you ushered one in, and next minute there's a verb, you know, verbally, the white people are verbally spreading. You don't need no mask no more. Okay, why would, okay, an old white female, I'm down south, why would an old white female come up to me, a nigga? The very person who answers, she done killed and murdered and everything else, and said, Oh, haven't you heard? You don't have to wear no mask anymore. And I know how y'all poisoned me on the 92 last month about a month ago and it took me about two weeks to shit gold and i've been shitting carrots in gold lately with in the absence of eating any carrots and it happened what about three to four times 